rape case was put on. There is no crime. In fact, I just got almost every review that's been done of the case so far. And as they say, there is no crime. This should have never been brought. It should be dismissed before you even have a verdict. But uh, we have a judge that's extremely, uh, let's say, complicated, but let's also say conflicted. He's complicated and conflicted. And uh, it's a very strange situation. Nobody's ever seen anything quite like it. But we have a situation where we have no crime. And this next couple of hours is very important because the judge can try and manufacture one where he goes from a misdemeanor which doesn't exist because of the statute of limitations. It doesn't exist, absolutely. And they try to bring it into a felony, but you can't do it because they haven't been able to prove it. And you see what's happened there with the border. Remember, I'm gagged. I'm not allowed to say what I'd like to really say. Because you'd be very impressed. But I'm gagged. So why would I take the chance? But we do want to defend our Constitution, so at some point maybe I will take the chance. It's uh, a very serious situation when a Republican nominee for president, the Republican nominee, somebody that won easily and quickly in record time, gets number one gagged and number two is before a Democrat appointed judge. And you're playing with fire like this, it's very sad. But the good news is they've not proven a case. There is no crime. Now, you're gonna read all of these experts and you know the ones that have to go over their names again, but all experts, uh, legal scholars, talented people, very smart people, and there is no crime. So maybe they'll try and devise one right now, the judge, you'll help them out, because the judge has been very helpful to the other side, and uh, that should never be, that should never be in our country. Now, on another note, Biden is releasing one million barrels of oil, from the Northeast Reserve in a bid to lower prices at the pump just before the election because he's unable to drill properly. So, and he's destroyed everything we had. We were energy independent. We were shortly going to be energy dominant. And now he has to go into what's called the strategic reserves to give oil and gasoline essentially for cars so they don't have to go up to seven, eight, nine dollars a barrel. By the way, if he ever got in again, you're, you're, you would be paying more than ten dollars a barrel. You better hope he doesn't get elected to those that drive cars. And by the way, and everybody else in our country. So, this is a big story. Just came out. He's, re he's releasing one million barrels of oil and the strategic reserves. He's been doing this to keep the prices down, but the prices are now higher than they've been in a long time. They're very high. And so he's trying to stop that because high gasoline prices are not good for elections if you're on his side of it. But nothing he's done has been good for elections. Everything he's done has been very bad for our country. And, and the border, I don't know if you've seen, but the border, record numbers of people from prisons, from jails, from mental institutions, terrorists, record numbers of people are pouring into our country. Numbers like we've never seen before are pouring in. We have an incompetent president and we have to win. And as I've said, November 5th, the most important day in the history of our country. Thank you very much, everybody.